This is the Les Naaman Show. People in this country are brainwashed by the media. I just threw off the oath of England. They just threw off the English, the English government as, as our power. We didn't want them to be involved. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you a question real quick. Uh, is there any precedent in any other dis- uh, Supreme Court decisions on, on anything like this? Uh, yeah, there's, there's cases starting with uh, Chief, uh, Chief Justice John Marshall, uh, which is the, the Venus case in 1814. Uh, he he uh, cites the natural law definition. He, he calls them the naturals or the indigenous uh, are born in the country of citizen parents. That's, that's Chief Justice Marshall, who's one of the major uh, founders and also, of course, one of the uh, most important justices that we had in our country, uh, established uh, judicial review and the power of the courts. Uh, that's Justice Marshall. Then in, in 1857, we have the Dred Scott versus Sanford case. Now, if people who know uh, history and know law, you know, when you hear Dred Scott versus Sanford, you say, oh, my God, that was a terrible case. That, that's the case that said that, uh, that blacks were not uh, yeah. citizens, okay? Yeah, it but, upheld slavery before the Civil War. Right, right. You know, before the Civil War, uh, of course, you know, that, that's been overturned, and that's got nothing to do with what we're talking about here. The case is a, is a wealth of information on what citizenship is. And it, it really has nothing to do with, uh, you know, with the issue of, of uh, slavery or, uh, uh, or, or, you know, what I said about blacks not being citizens. That, that's, of course, we all know that's been all uh, undone. But that case also, we have Justice Daniels, uh, a concurring opinion where he, he actually cites the tell and gives the definition. Uh, we have a, a case uh, in uh, a, uh, 1830, which is called Shanks versus DuPont. Uh, that actually uh, gives the the, the, the uh, natural law definition of you know the son uh, uh, excuse not the son the children following the condition of the parents for citizenship a, a very important case uh, the slaughterhouse cases in 1872 it talks about um, being subject to the jurisdiction of, of, of the United States and we have uh, Elk versus Wilkins in 1884. Uh, a, a very big, so, big case is Minor versus Happersat in 1875. So, let me ask you this. Does, does the Obama administration and their attorneys have any of their precedents? I mean, do they have any precedent at all? I mean, it sounds like there's, you've got a whole no bunch. There's no Supreme Court case that says a natural-born citizen uh, is simply born in the USA. Hmm. That's he's trying to say. He's got yeah. the progressive thing. He wants to change the words, what words mean. And the thing is, though, there's never been a there's never been an elected president before who stood for election who was not a natural born citizen. Now there was a Chester Arthur case that he got in by assassination. He was stood for election as a vice president. Nobody knew at the time certain things about him, and it was later revealed in history there was an issue with his father, but nobody knew it at the time, and he got in by assassination of the president, so he rolls up through the ranks. Hey, we're coming we're coming up to a break. You're listening to the Les Naaman Show. We'll be back with Mario Puzzo and Commander Charles Kirchner in just a minute. You can call the show 571-2428. It's 571-2428-970 WGTK. The Les Naaman Show. We'll be back. Nine seventy WGTK. Naaman's Catering is a full service catering company, providing fabulous quality food at affordable prices. Outstanding food and service are the foundation, and 28 years of happy customers tell the story. Naaman's personal approach includes meeting with prospective clients in their home or business with great food choices to sample at no charge. Specializing in wedding receptions and corporate events, Naaman's professional servers and bartenders will go above and beyond to ensure the success of your event. One call does it all. Naaman's has the best food, but that's not all. They also supply tables, chairs, linens, skirts, and full bar service. Start planning the perfect wedding reception now. And be sure to check out Naaman's Catering at the Louisville Wedding Network, February 7th at the Fraser International History Museum, from noon to 4 p.m., free parking and free admission. Call Naaman's Catering at 327-7333 or go online to naamanscatering.com to learn more. America remains the greatest nation on earth, but for how long? I don't know about you, but I want my children and my grandchildren to inherit a country that we can still recognize, one where they have the same opportunities for an even better life than we had, one where their pursuit of their own happiness is unencumbered by crushing debt and taxes 
and a runaway government that has forgotten that it works for we the people, not the other way around. One where its leaders adhere to the very constitution they swore to uphold. We're your Louisville Tea Party. Mark your calendars for the second annual Tea Party Rally, Tax Day, Thursday, April 15th at 11 a.m., downtown on Jefferson Square. Want to know more? Visit us at www.louisvilleteaparty.org or email us at louisvilleteaparty at gmail.com. Be a part of our efforts to preserve our future by restoring America. We need to talk about everything. The Hugh Hewitt Show. Weekday evenings at 6 on 970 WGTK. We're back. Les Naiman, Les Naiman Show, 970 WGTK. We're with Commander Charles Kirchner and Mario Puzzo. We're talking about the lawsuit that's currently in, in the court, in the appeals court in, New Jer- in uh, Philadelphia. Uh, gentlemen, uh, why don't you just uh, bring us up to date one more time on, on what's, what, what is upcoming in, in the, you said something is going on on March 22nd. Well, I just, yeah, there's going to be a reply brief filed by my attorney at the, at the appeals court. Uh, and then it, the judges sit down and decide it over the next 30, 60 days, and there will be oral arguments or whatever. But I just want to finish up one point of what we were talking about here in history is that Obama is the first person in history to challenge a natural-born citizen, Article 2, head-on, saying you don't have to have a father who's a citizen. You don't have to have a father who's an immigrant. You know, just being a citizen of the United States is good enough. That makes you a natural-born citizen. That's, that's a legal question. It has nothing to do with politics, party, race, or anything, because I'm suing members of the Republican Party, too, uh, Dick Cheney, for helping Obama get away with this, uh, this con game he's playing by not opening the, the, uh, for objections at the joint session. So it's not political. It's not racial. It's a legal question. And Very good. we need to get it decided for the history of this country what Article II citizens, uh, natural born citizen is once and for all as it applies to a man running for the office of the presidency. So Obama is sticking his finger in the eye of the Constitution. He's flaunting it. And I am standing up to defend it, and Mario, my attorney, is doing a fantastic job in, in presenting the legal and historical arguments to prove that we're right and he's wrong. And that the, the media is covering for him, and the Congress is covering for him. That's why they're being sued. Otherwise, this would have never got through. The American people would have known the truth. They would have never voted for this guy. Well, President Obama has proven time and time again that he cares little for the Constitution. Uh, back, and he's uh, a liar. And he's a liar. Oh, well, we know he's a liar. I mean, I, <laughs> I call him liar pretty much every week uh, on a regular basis. Liar. I mean, <laughs> just like that. Thanks to my wife. That's her little thing that she she, well, she yells at the TV when she sees him speak. Um, the fact so of the we matter... We need your help, though. We need the people's help. We need donations to help run those ads in the you know, Washington uh, Times. Do you have an address people? that they could, anybody can mail a check to or a, a you, post you office box? www.protectourliberty.org is an address there to mail the checks, payable to Mary. Mario Puzo, my attorney, and he goes to a special trust fund, at, at, and the address is there, www.protectourliberty.org. We need to help, and, you know, $10, $5, $20, $100, you know, if he got it, $5,000, or well, whatever. So, so, so yeah, the people like got to stand up you. here. Go ahead, Mary. Like, like the, the, re- the reason why we're doing this, first of all, what is the natural born citizen clause? This is for national security. We're arguing for a, a, a stronger definition, which is the founder's definition, of, of somebody to be president of the United States, as the commander in chief. Okay, that's what we have to understand here. The Obama camp, they want to reduce that standard for the president. Now, I, I say this to the, to the nation and to the world. Under, under what a, a policy reason would you want a lesser of a standard? for a president of the United States. You know, how could you justify lessening the standard? You know, are we doing a, a favor for, for Obama, or should we be thinking about the best interest of the country? So that's, that's also involved here. It can open the door for other folks who aren't legally yeah, natural-born citizens to become president and take his place. Absolutely. we got we got to get this defined for the future of our republic and the Constitution as to what it means as applies to the president directly, because they're sticking. The progressives are changing the language again. They change everything in the Constitution to suit themselves, and we are fighting to protect Article 2. Mario, one question, uh, just to health care real quick. Uh, 